my grandmother gave me a record when I was 12 that had all of JFK's speeches. And so I would listen to those and I would practice them in the mirror. And I believed in, you know, just what America stood for. I grew up in the Bay Area. My father would sometimes get laid off from a job. That happened more than once. Our utilities would go out because bills weren't paid. I remember at one point, we didn't have anywhere to go. There's a hotel on El Camino called the Glass Slipper. I remember being a kid eating wheat bread and peanut butter for dinner because that's all we could afford. I think about those memories every time I drive by there. I'd say our housing situation was stable for many years until we were in Berkeley for a year and my parents weren't able to pay the rent on the house that we were staying at. So that whole first semester of my senior year, we were homeless. Nobody at school knew that. It was tough to you know, have to come to school every day and act like you know, Mr. Popular and yet go back to a, a hotel room or, or worse, a car when we didn't have a hotel room. I remember trying to find dark places at night to park the car um, where you know, we wouldn't get disturbed by the police. So yeah, it was a tough time in my life to be homeless, but I don't know that there is a good time. Those experiences are burned in my brain and make me part of who I am today. They absolutely factor into every decision I make. I'm always concerned about the impact on our residents of all income levels, particularly those who are low income. How are the policies we're making affecting them in the short and the long term? Around 2011 is when the tech boom really started to take place and we've had the sustained, fast economic growth in the region. And without the proper planning and execution to balance the jobs and the housing. Redwood City has been very aggressive. I'd argue more aggressive than any city in the area in terms of building new housing. The city's philosophy has been, if you build more market rate units, that will stabilize the below market housing because it'll take some of the pressure off of the housing market. Our number one priority is to build below market housing, but it's a lot easier said than done. I think people think the city has a lot more power than we do. And the, the power that we do have is only within our city limits. So there are a lot of things that we do that impact neighboring cities and vice versa. The problems like homelessness and uh, creating enough housing to meet demand are bigger than cities can solve. 